Hi, welcome to a new vlog. This one is going to be a themed reading vlog though, and one I'm a little bit terrified to do because we're reading Colleen Hoover. I know, I know. So one of these will actually be a reread, and the other two I've never read before, and they're probably Colleen Hoover's two most popular books. So the book I have read before is Maybe Someday and I remember absolutely loving it, loving the soundtrack that came along with it and giving it a massive five stars. Like I was obsessed with it um, and I read it like when it first came out. And then there's these two books that have blown up over the past year or so and I've never read them. So we've got It Ends With Us and Verity. This one, I believe, is like a mystery thriller. This one deals with like domestic abuse, maybe? I don't know, but we're gonna read them. I've read quite a few of Colleen's other books as well, but I can't say I've read any recently. Probably the last time I read a Colleen Hoover book, I don't even know, maybe 2017? Maybe. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna take you along with me. We're gonna go on this journey together. And we're gonna see if the hype is real and what the buzz is all about. I'm scared. So we're gonna start with It Ends With Us because I just got a notification that the audiobook is now available at my library and I have been on the wait list for this audiobook for months. So it's time. So let's see what this is about. Oh no, he's a neurosurgeon. Uh oh. Okay. So it seems to be about Lily, who starts dating this neurosurgeon named Ryle. I'm sorry if your name is Ryle, but that is an awful name. <laughs> um, and things are a bit spotty with Ryle, maybe. And then Atlas comes back into her life, who is her first love. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> so I finished this book a few days ago. I'm still shaken to my core at how good this was. What? What the heck? Five stars. Colleen? Yes. I kind of wish I didn't know anything at all going into it because I would have been very curious to know my reaction and thoughts about a certain character without knowing how that was going to turn out, if that makes any sense. If you've read it, that should make sense. So first one was a banger. And then I went to the shops the other day with Emily and I bought her a book and I was like, well, if I'm buying you a book, I should buy me a book. And they had like every Colleen Hoover book there. And I was like, okay, only pick one, April, just pick one. So I ended up picking All Your Perfects because I feel like this one is more like up my alley with like, like it's about marriage and children, you know? fun stuff and I've just been very curious about this one so I picked this one up um will I read it for this vlog as well maybe and you will have seen I went to the book fair today the lifeline book fair with my best friend Brittany if you're an OG watcher from like 
2014, 2015, you will have recognized her. But I didn't buy anything for myself, but I did get a massive, you can't even see those, a massive stack of books for Emily. And I just disinfected them. Dis, disin, is that the word? My brain is not working. So yeah, when she gets home from daycare today, she'll be very excited about those. <sighs> but now I have to decide what I'm gonna start next. Should I start Verity? Or should I reread maybe someday? Or should I start All Your Perfects? I don't know. Um, maybe I'll read Verity because I just watched Olivia from Olivia Reads a Latte Reader in a vlog. And it looks great. Several days later. Um, so I finished Verity last night. <laughs> wow that's messed up i literally read it so fast so i i didn't even update you i'm so sorry but it was very addicting wish i could say spoilers right now because like i want to talk about it because the ending is kind of open-ended you can kind of guess what happens one way or the other and i have i feel confident that it ended one way and I want to tell you why. So maybe I will at the end of this video. Maybe we'll have a small spoilery section. But it was really good. I gave it four stars. Just because, like, I don't know. I couldn't fully give it five stars for some reason. I just felt like it wasn't a five-star book. But it was very suspenseful. It was very good. It was very creepy. Um, yeah, it was fun. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. So that's another Colleen Hoover book down. But... Um, these just showed up at my door. So, <laughs> I thought we could open them together. Are you going to be purring loudly in the background, Bucky? <laughs> Sorry if you can hear him purring up a storm. How great is the bee's knees? I am a rep for them. You can use my code MAXIMUS15 to get 15% off. And they always send me their stuff, and I just love them. So, um, I can't remember what this is, actually. So let's open it. It it's, must be a special edition of something. So let's see what... Oh! Duh! I totally forgot about this. Oh, there's a bookmark. Oh, I can get out. Okay, so it is Book of Night by Holly Black. I love what they've done with this cover. Oh my gosh, let's open it. Wow, it is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Ah! Um, so, I haven't read this yet, and to be honest, I am terrified because I've just heard it's terrible. Yeah, but this is absolutely stunning. Like, I love it. Next. So the theme is of romance and rivalry. Um, cool. So, oop, first things first. We've got this little, I don't know what this is, bookmark, maybe? Oh, it's a comb! Wow. It's pretty. These Violent Delights Inspired. Um, next we've got the literary luggage. So let's see what this month's one is. It is, what is this from? What is this from? Let's see. Oh, it's Serpent and Dove inspired. I did read that, but I do not remember a single thing about it. Next, we have a magnet. Bright star holds even as the darkness rises. And this is inspired by Dark Rise by C.S. Bacat. And it is... Oh my gosh, it's Crescent City inspired! <gasps> I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed! <coughs> I'm obsessed. Okay, and looks like we have two books in here. So we have Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. It's the next book in their classics collection. Oh, oh, they fixed the way they've bound them, so this one is bound really nicely. Um, pretty. 
Hello. And then looks like, oh, we've got a wooden um, wall hanging. The good book was its own brand of magic. Stories made everything possible. This is inspired by Kingdom of the Wicked. That's gorgeous. Now the book. What is this book? I've literally, have I heard of this? I don't, I don't even know. So it's called Together We Burn by Isabel Ibanez. Um, it's, it's beautiful, but what is it? I have literally never heard of this book. Never seen this book. So I've got a letter from the author. And this beautiful matte cover is very, oh, it's lovely. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Gosh, it has a whole ass drag. Oh, oh, what? What is this book about? An ancient city plagued by dragons. Okay, I'm already there. Say less. 18 year old Zarella Zalvadar is a talented flamenco dancer and daughter of the most famous drag dragonador in Hispalia. People come for miles to see him fight in their arena which will one day be hers, but disaster strikes during one celebratory show and in the carnage, her life changes in an instant. A flamenco dancer who must become a dragon hunter to save her family legacy? I'm shook. With the dragon guild trying to wrest control of her inheritance from her, Zarella has no choice but to train to become a dragonador. A dragonator. Dragonador. I don't know. But when the most talented dragon hunter left in the land, the infuriatingly handsome Arturo Diaz de Montserrat withholds his help, Zarella cannot take no for an answer. Without him, her world will burn. I'm obsessed. What the heck? How have I never heard of this book? Okay. Well, that sounds amazing. Let's move on to the Alcrate Junior Box. The theme is campfire stories. So, oh, first we have a Camp Half-Blood sticker. Yes, 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 yes. Then we have oh, friendship bracelets. <gasps> That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. We've got this. Please lie down before putting these on. Property of the Bureau of Supernatural Affairs. Oh my gosh. This is inspired by Amari and the Night Brothers. Ah! Ah! I absolutely adore that book, by the way. Iconic. Can't wait for the sequel. What, we, what is this? Camp Red Feather. It's inspired by Arlo Finch. It's just a zippered hard case that can small all of your small supplies for summer camp. This would be perfect. Oh, it doesn't quite fit a Nintendo Switch, but it would be perfect for like, maybe a Nintendo DS or something? Put all your games up here? I don't know, I'm just saying. Um, then we've got this little notebook. There is no lake at Camp Green Lake. This is inspired by holes. Oh my gosh, what a throwback. It's just lined, a lined note, notebook. That is so cute. Okay, uh, then we've got the book, which is called Twelfth by Janet Key. Another book I have never heard of. That's always exciting when you've never heard of it. So as per usual, it comes with the little um, character card. It's so cute. Um, so let's see. Oh, the outfit letter is actually in the book this time. That's great. Um, okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. What is this about? Obviously, it's about some sort of camp. <gasps> Theater camp. Are these the best Alcrate and Alcrate Junior books ever? Mayhaps. There's a non binary character. Okay, so it has like Shakespeare's Twelfth Night sort of inspiration. 
Um, they're on a hunt for a diamond ring that legend has it is linked to the camp's namesake. So they're off searching through lighting booths, orchestra pits, costume storages, discovering the trail and dodging camp counselors. Oh my gosh, this sounds so fun. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Obsessed. I'm obsessed. So the theme for July is jump off the page. Literally, what the heck, Al Crate and Al Crate Jr. You've knocked it out of the park this time, I'll tell you what. Um, so that was fun. Um, now I have to choose whether to reread maybe someday or read All Your Perfects. I've heard that Graham is like the ultimate man in All Your Perfects. Like he's just perfect. So what is with this light you can see here? What is this? I don't know. Um, I don't know. What should I read next? I'll update you when I start something. <laughs> entering her horse girl era and she stole my book so that's how my day is going just finished filming some videos so I have to put all these books away but um I thought I would update you because I am about halfway through Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover so I was reading it physically but I wanted to finish it by the end of this month and it's the 28th today and if I read it physically that's not gonna happen so I got the audiobook and I've listened to quite a bit of it and I'm enjoying it um, a lot of people don't like this one because it has cheating in it, which I totally understand. Um, but for the sake of a good story, like, at the end of the day, it's just a story, you know? Um, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying that there's deaf rep in here. I mean, I can't say if it's, like, good rep, but, you know, Colleen Hoover, she's trying. And I love how it's all about music and making music because that was a part of my life for so long. So yeah, it holds a special place in my heart. So if you don't know what this is about, it is about a girl called Sydney and on her 22nd birthday, she finds out that her boyfriend and her best friend slash roommate are seeing each other behind her back. So yeah, obviously she can't live there anymore. So she ends up shacking up with this guy called Ridge and his roommates. Um, and Ridge is deaf. Um, but he is also the primary like songwriter for his band and Sydney is also musical and when Ridge is having writer's block she helps him write songs for the band and they find themselves developing feelings for each other even though Ridge has a really like strong stable amazing relationship with another woman so it's like very confusing very tense and dramatic <laughs> but yeah I'm really enjoying it um but I wanted to talk about something because I actually won a giveaway I never win giveaways like it was the most exciting moment of my life when I won a giveaway I won a giveaway from this company called Divine Pages and Co little did I know when I entered the giveaway that it's actually run by my friend Yasmin <laughs> so um yeah Thank you, Yasmin. You're the best. I'll leave all of her links in the description, but she makes these absolutely 
breathtaking bookmarks and I won all of them. <laughs> so yeah, I'm literally over the moon, amazed, like she is incredible and like she's selling her bookmarks in local bookstores, in Dimmicks, like she's doing so well. I'm so proud of you Yasmin. So yeah, um, I'm just going to quickly show you all the bookmarks, all the bookmarks I won because I'm obsessed and I want you to be obsessed also. You should totally check her store out. So first we have this set. Ah! These are probably my favorite ones. This one says, I am grateful for all that I am. <gasps> it's so beautiful and it's matte. And then we have the matching one that says, I am fearless and powerful unbelievable then we have this one which is inspired by what is this one inspired by i can't remember you can read the quote and you can tell me in the comments <laughs> and then we have this grisha verse inspired one we have this starless sea inspired one this one throne of glass inspired one um shades of magic inspired one heart stopper one i'm obsessed i'm obsessed Akamath inspired one, Alice in Wonderland, Addie LaRue, like are you kidding me? We've got this one which is like Loki inspired by Throne of Glass I think. Um, we have this Dark Academia one and this adorable one. Like I am absolutely in love and she's also um, making tote bags and like expanding her shop like you guys should definitely go check her out because she is absolutely amazeballs. So, um, I, yeah, I'm going to finish maybe someday, like probably within the next couple of days. And then there's also a novella and a sequel to this book. So I'm going to read those, but I'm not going to read them for this vlog. But I found out something. I was stalking Colleen Hoover on the Instagram because I'm obsessed with her at the moment and her books. And I found this image. That made me question everything. You're telling me I have to reread Hopeless and Losing Hope to read this book? Ew! <laughs> I hated Hopeless. But I'm gonna do it. So I have decided that I'm not gonna be reading this book for this vlog. I know you could read it as a standalone, but I want to get the full experience, you guys. I am going to read every Colleen Hoover book and I'm gonna reread all the ones that I've already read, even if I hated them. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And then I'm gonna do it ranking Colleen Hoover books video okay it's happening so I'm gonna put this one on hold for now we're gonna end the vlog after just reading maybe someday maybe I'll add in the novella and sequel into this vlog actually instead yeah I'll do that yeah because I just want to get the full experience because you read hopeless losing hope then this and then there's like a novella that like links them or something but I don't know but yeah that's the plan and I also realized I didn't even like tell you what Verity was about but I'm assuming if you're here and watching it, I'm assuming you know. Plus, it's sort of best to go into this not really knowing anything. But I'll give you a very, very brief synopsis. So it's about this writer who gets the deal of a lifetime to finish writing out this famous author's book series because she was in an accident and can no longer write them. So she goes to her house. The author who was in the accident, um, her husband and son, are in the house. She goes to their house to like go through her Verity's office and like find any like manuscripts or like outlines or anything she can use and she ends up finding a manuscript and it's not what she expected. Anyway so I'm uh really enjoying my Colleen Hoover experiment because like five stars, four stars, unsure what this will be but I doubt it'll be less than three stars like is she really the queen mm, perhaps Emily can we please leave the cereal at home <laughs> we don't need to take the cereal on a walk with us
I have super glue all over my fingers. Anyways, um, hi, it's finally time to end this vlog. I've been super lazy filming updates for the rest of it. I'm so sorry. So, um, let's quickly talk about maybe someday because I did end up finishing it and it wasn't my favorite. <laughs> I ended up giving it a three stars. Um, it did have quite a bit of problematic content in it I mean aside from like the cheating obviously but like there were multiple times where jokes about transvestites were happening and this one time I can't remember who it was someone was asking one of the female characters like as a joke you don't have a dick under there do you like what yeah so there was <laughs> some questionable content but I don't know if that's been changed in because this is like the original edition like I know November 9 has been changed a lot so yeah I don't know if you've read it recently let me know are those questionable jokes still in there because that was not good um yeah three stars it was fine it was fine and then I ended up reading the novella that comes after that called Maybe Not. And it is following two of the side characters in Maybe Someday. And Maybe Not? <laughs> How about Absolutely Not? I gave that one star. It was absolutely terrible. So the main character forces himself on the female character, Bridget multiple times after she says no there was just so much questionable consent there was no consent um it was just so bad it was just so bad i gave it one star I, why did i read that and i decided i'm gonna wait to read the next i think it's maybe called maybe now um, because I just have so many other, so much other stuff I need to read. So yeah, that's all I read for this vlog. So out of these, my current Colleen Hoover ranking, not including books that I read ages and ages ago and I don't remember, at the very bottom is Maybe Not. Ew. And then it's Maybe Someday um, with three stars. Then it's Verity at four stars and It Ends With Us is five stars like. I'm still not over this book. I can't wait for the sequel slash prequel slash I, I don't even know. I don't care. I just need it. It was so good. So I'm glad that I did this video because I found a new favorite book. Um, will I keep reading Colleen Hoover? Yes. I'm determined to continue this project through. I don't know how long it will take me, but I'm curious, you know? So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Um, if you have like a ranking of all the Colleen Hoover books, leave it down below. I want all the tea. Um, I want to know everything. What's your favorite? What's your least favorite? Um, I want to know everything. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which Colleen Hoover books you think I would enjoy or that I should read next. Maybe I'll do another vlog. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video and I will see you guys soon in a new one. Goodbye.